Today I'm going to show you how to do the little intro you just saw. Uh, first you're going to need Cinema 4D. So first you see this little light spot. Mine is in French because I'm French people. Hello. So yes, go to, I think it's lower in English, yeah. Just click it and then you will see this. So again, you're going to just MoGraph, take MoGraph, MoTeX and mine would be webman 300 and just you can high up a little bit so first you will go to this I think it's cap and you'll take the, the last one so then you will have this so you can render it just to see yeah uh, and then if you want to add more realistic pieces of um, just light and then bring it in front of the text so you will see it, it adds some cool cool effects the only thing we need is is to go in alright so uh, yeah I just checked out my things yeah so uh, for the the water shape this is gonna want to go here or cube and then take this uh, and then you just want to get the dot here and then put it bigger a lot of bigger and put it down a bit so we won't see it and render it to make sure it's okay you're just gonna go in front and maybe like this so now you're gonna render it to just see if it's all okay and then we see oh it's beautiful so you there is a keyframe you have to put so you will make sure that the landscape is not over the the floor um, yeah, so you're gonna click on landscape, and then keyframe over here, click, then you're gonna just go to 30, and put it right like there, and then keyframe it, 60, be like here. and finally 90 we're gonna do it long because you will be able to do it yourself so now the texture is bad because we didn't do anything on it so just do the keyframe so now you see that the water is like moving as if the, the text would be flood <coughs> so you just click on landscape right down and do just new material double click on it and you will be able to put it like blue like this uh, with transparency that you will put like at 55 or less this should be okay and reflection 2 with 50 like this and you're just gonna go at 30 frames so now you see a little shape and then just drop drop the new the new texture on on the landscape so now we see that you can you can render it it's so beautiful now I think I just put it less transparent So like this it should be okay. Um, <coughs> so that is basically how you do it. So yeah. If you like there it's like all black and so you can add another light that you put maybe there and then put it smaller. Click on it 
and then a general you'll put it like 50% or maybe 60 65 so now you see more there is light <coughs> now for render settings uh, just make sure it's like complete render exit yeah just do it like I prefer doing it uh, 1440 per 900 because it's a it's a good way to it's not it's not that big so yeah you will it's very important that you put uh, all frames it's, it may be written all frames or all pictures or that kind but you have to make sure that you put it or else you just have one frame that will be uh, rendered so um, path where just press the three dots and like put it where you want with the name Agoba. And then format you can do it uh, QuickTime Film or AVI. I prefer QuickTime. And it's pretty much about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you really have to make sure that's all frames or all images. So leave a like if you if you like the video, um, comment and subscribe. And I know you won't. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. It's a very good way to um, to do intros because Cinema 4D is so powerful. Yeah.